Well hello and welcome to my latest video. This is part two of the Tannis armour tyre inserts. Now if you watched part one uh, you will see that I did an unboxing of the inserts and I attempted to fit them onto my tyres and I did kind of succeed. I had to pause halfway through and read through the instructions uh, and then do it. And then I, I did manage to do it. It was rather a long video. I hope I didn't bore too many of you. Um, but once I'd finished the video and I finished it off, thanks everybody, see you next time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I then thought, well, I'll pump it up a bit further. Always a bad move. Uh, so I used my air compressor, probably also a bad move, put some more air and boof! The whole thing exploded. Boof! It went, it went like that. It went all over all over the workshop there were bits of wheel and there were bits of tire and there were bits of rim and there were bits of insert all over the place no there wasn't really it just uh, the, the inner tube um burst on me like that scene in alien where the, the alien comes out of john hurt's uh, stomach a, a fate worse than death anyway anyway this is part two and what i have done and i, and I haven't included this bit in the video because i thought you've probably seen enough of it i have managed to put the inserts and the inner tube in the tyre on both of the rims from my Fairlight Seacan gravel bike. Now, these tyres are the IRC Boken 40mm gravel tyres which I did have set up tubeless, had a disaster on my 200km Audax where the uh, tubeless uh, affair or my affair with tubeless tires uh, finally ran aground and ended in a very messy and expensive divorce so i thought rather than waste all of these tubeless tires that i have sitting around if i try these tannis inserts i may be able to reactivate my affair and have another go round the block so just to recap for those of you who are not sure what these are the tannis armor insert is a kind of rubber foam rubber uh, ring that goes between the tube and the tire and it's a fairly thick bit of rubber uh, on the the base or rather on the the front front is that the front or is that the back part of the tire anyway you know what i mean slightly thinner at the sides like that and the idea is that flint or thorns or drawing pins or tacks as you americans call them that other people uh, nasty people may have spread along the ground do not penetrate your tire and therefore they are virtually not completely but virtually puncture proof so i have fitted them i will be putting the wheels back on my bike i will be going for a ride i'll see what the rolling resistance is like i'll see what the weight is like i'll see what the impact is on the ride on the Fairlight Seacan and I'll report back on that a bit later on in this video. So thanks for watching this far, don't go away, see you in a little bit. Well 25 miles completed on the Tannis armour inserts with my mate Simon, uh, not that that's relevant at all uh, but I just happened to go for a ride with Simon and you want to know what it was like, not riding with Simon, but what the Tannis inserts, Tannis armour inserts were like well uh, first of all they weren't 100% correctly seated on the rim so there was a certain bump 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 bit like Christopher Robin coming down the stairs but that's not really the fault of the Tannis armor inserts that's the fault of me and I should be able to correct that fairly easily um, so what was the ride quality like well the ride quality was there was no degradation in the ride quality at all uh, any weight penalty and then there's a slight weight penalty but because I'm riding the Fairlight Seacan steel gravel bike which is fairly heavy anyway uh, any weight penalty is not really noticeable and if I was going to say anything about the ride quality I would say it's actually improved because you can kind of feel that you're riding on a kind of uh, rubber, softer rubber, not, not a trampoline service but there's a certain cushiony quality to it now uh, facebook not facebook uh, youtube uh, have introduced and this is only in the last couple of days uh, a new uh, widget or a new algorithm now what you have to do uh, and it only works on an iphone i'm afraid it doesn't work on an android phone because it uses the, the haptics you know the kind of the uh, uh, vibration element of of the iphone 
what you have to do is if you're watching the video and it's only, only if you're watching it right now and you have to tap in uh, the number two that's number two uh, then the space bar uh, then a comma then a capital O that's not a zero it's a capital O and then lowercase z then the equals and then the hashtag and you have to do it one-handed so it's deliberately made very difficult but if you do that you'll get a little vibration from watching this bit of the movie and where I'm touching touching the wheel here you can't actually feel where I'm touching the wheel but that will vibrate and it will give you a pretty clear idea of what the feel of riding on a Tannis armor tire insert is so to sum up then yes I think they're a good thing did I get any punctures no no does that mean I won't ever have any punctures? I doubt it very much. If I do have any punctures, will I be able to get the tire off and change the inner tube? Almost certainly not. So, fingers crossed. And it's a thumbs up from me from the Tannis tire inserts. They didn't send me any money. They haven't paid me for making this video. But if you watch this video and you sit through the adverts, you are raising money for a local food bank. So I want to say thank you for that. You're doing things in a good cause. So... Keep watching, see you next time, and thanks again.